Hello, hello. Good afternoon naman sa mga senior high school students natin dyan na nanonood ngayon dito sa ating um, Itulay online tutorial. Sa lahat ng teachers, sa lahat ng parents, sa buong member ng Department of Education, sa buong Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. Good afternoon, everybody. So, today, we're going to have our Tuesday tutorial for the senior high school subject, Philippine Contemporary Arts. And I am your tutor, Tutor Mary Grace. So, for this week, tayo ay nasa week number two na ng third quarter. And our topic will focus on the various contemporary art forms from the different regions in our country. And para sa kalaman na lahat, ang gagamitin nating module ay ang Contemporary Philippine Arts coming from the School Division of Negros Oriental Region 7. So thank you very much for this module, SDO Negros Oriental. There you go. And for this week, or for this topic, we are going to have the learning competency Focus on describing the various contemporary art, art forms and their practices from the various regions dito sa ating bansa. So it's very important na hindi lang natin ito nakikita kung hindi kaya din natin itong i-describe kasi tayo yung communicator ng ating kultura using these different contemporary art forms. So moving on. So at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to, number one, differentiate the different art forms in the Philippines. Number two, explain how these art forms enhance Philippine culture. And number three, show appreciation of contemporary art and its elements and principles in an essay. Now, I know it's hard because it's essay writing, but what do you know? Maybe you will enjoy it later, right? So previously, the topic that we discussed is all about the various contemporary art forms and their various practices in different regions. During those times, we discussed and understood the meaning and range of contemporary art. So we are hoping that by this time, we'll, we already know the definition of contemporary arts. Now, here is a challenge. How artsy fartsy are you? Let's see. I would like you to observe these following pictures and answer the questions posted in our slides. Are you ready? No Googling, no cheating, okay? Just try your um, stock knowledge for this one, okay? So how fartsy, artsy, fartsy, artsy, fartsy are you? First, what building is this? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to type in answers. To guess what building is shown in this picture. Are you ready? So this is the picture. All right, you can find this in Manila actually. And the 10 seconds begins now. Oh, by the way, um, shout out to mga um, former colleagues ko watching from the different parts of the region. Okay, one from um, three of them from the region of, I mean, from the province of Cavite. Okay. Shout out then to Mom Cecilia Martin. Thank you very much for watching and time is up. Okay. So no answers are uh, sent. Our post, I mean, our group chat. So maybe mahirap mahulaan kung anong building ito. Pero it looks like it's from a different country. But no, no, no. It's actually the city of dreams in Paranaque, Manila. Okay? The design of this building, the architectural design, is provided by Asha Design. So it is a group of architectures and designers based here in the Philippines. Okay? Next picture. Are you ready? Who is this Filipino writer? Okay, so here's your clue. He he is also the lead singer dun sa band na Radioactive Sago Project. I don't know kung alam pa to ng Gen Z, pero let's see. Your timer starts now. Send in your answers. Are you ready? Um, shout out sa mga nanonood from Tarlac Province. 
Ma'am Rose, makapagal dulnuan. And time is up. So, do you have an idea who is this Filipino writer? Although I have mentioned na siya ay member ng Radioactive Sagwa Project, he is also very famous in um, writing, okay? In writing in Tagalog, in English, or in Taglish. So, what, who we have here is Lord Ernest Hannibal de Vera or simply Lord de Vera. So, siya ay author ng mga libro kagaya ng um, This is a Crazy Planets 1 and 2 and Insecticissimo. Okay, there you go. So, hindi na siya singer but also a famous Filipino writer. And the last picture for this round, okay, Th go back and know how many scores you already have. Wala pa? So, let's see. Baka makuha niyo yung tama, yung last picture. Okay, last picture for this part is with this question. What material is this sculpture known as symphony made of? This is very easy. So, I hope I'll be receiving some answers. And your timer starts now. Okay, so um, we, we, are, we already have uh, people watching our tutorial lesson today and hope they learn something from this one. Okay, time is up. Okay, what material is this one made from? So it's very easy to tell. It's actually made from glass or glass blocks. So these sculptures can be seen in display at Museo Orlina in Tagaytay City. So si, si Orlina, Ramon Orlina, siya ay isang sculpture na famous for um, using glass blocks. Okay? Pero hindi siya gumagamit ng heat to shape um, his sculptures. Ang ginagamit na lang, handmade tools. ba? How genius is that, right? Hi, Ma'am Mary Grace. Pa-mute uh, din po yung sa phone natin. Naririnig po yung echo. Yung boses po nagsasabay. Thank you. Next, I wonder, I ponder. Hmm. So, this lesson will, will not be totally useless because um, when you go to the different places in the country and even when you go abroad, you will be representing the country you will be representing the country um, regarding this culture. Alright? So, ito yung mga tanong na kailangan nating masagot later on. Alright? So, are you ready? So, the first question is, what are the different art forms in the Philippines? Next question that we have to answer later on, how do these different art forms enhance a Philippine culture? And finally, I mean, not finally, but thirdly, what are the general characteristics of contemporary arts? Number four, you are going to list down some elements and principles of contemporary arts. And finally, yun, pasok na. List down three contemporary works of arts that you are familiar with and which have enhanced Philippine culture. Okay, so later on, you will discover the answers to these ones. Okay, oh, we receive an invitation. We are going to... A uh, late afternoon at the museum. But no, we're not going to the Ayala Museum. Baka kasi sarado pa sila. I don't know. But we're going to have a gallery walk. Okay? For this gallery walk, our first set of pictures depict all the architectural styles in Philippine contemporary architecture. Okay? On your left side, you will see the night sky in Makati kung saan napakadami ng skyscrapers. No, At one look, parang sa ibang bansa, but no. It's just here in the Philippines. It's in Makati, actually. And on your right side, you will see there um, one of the um, recent branches or recent malls of SM, group of companies. This is SM Aura. Okay, and it's very famous because of its unique shape. So this is Philippine contemporary architecture. Next stop for our gallery walk are these paintings. And you know what? These paintings really cost a lot and they are done by Filipino contemporary painters. So the one on your right is called the Tree of Make-Believe, okay? And this one, um, it, it's very modern in approach, okay? But the topic, if you look at it, parang angulo, parang, parang chaotic, but no, because it's it actually sold for 9 million pesos, okay? There's no record about the buyer, but it's it is that expensive and it's very... Um, very rich in color, texture, and shape. While on the left side of your screen, you will see there a painting 
known as woman in distress. So this one shows you the expression of a woman kapag siya ay hinahabol ng mga um uh, ng mga masamang loob. No, joke lang. This is a woman in distress, okay? It's actually um it it actually depicts ko ano yung ko ano yung nagiging um, popular expressions ng mga Pilipino kapag sila ay under stress, napapapikit na lang, kapag sila ay uh, uh, nadidepress. Okay, so there you go. That's our gallery walk for Philippine contemporary paintings. Moving on, we have here different sculptures. Okay, the left side, this is uh, very famous kasi kasama ito sa Disneyization. Okay, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Nang Davao's public places. Okay, there are different sculptures, huge sculptures sa iba't ibang pasyalan sa Davao City. And this is one of them, okay? The Philippine Eagle. Basically, it represents us. Hindi naman yan bald, so it does not represent the other west, uh, the other country or the, that western country. It's the Philippine Eagle, actually. And on your right side, you will see there, okay, uh, a small resin, um, resin-based sculpture. Okay, depicting a woman holding an apple. Okay, so later on, we will discover how these works of art um, represent or enhance Philippine culture. Okay, moving on. This time in the field of literature. Okay, what we have here are two very successful authors. Okay, the first one, the female one, is, of course, you already know her. Kung kayo ay uh, nakikinig sa inyo mga Filipino teachers, this is Luwal Hati Bautista. Okay, so she is very, she is a very famous Palangka awardee and she continues to write up to this day. So not only about political issues, but social ones and cultural ones as well. Now on your right side is a Quezon born, okay, Pride of Quezon, where I live and where I teach. Si Sir Marco Antonio Rodas, he is also a Palangka awardee sa larangan ng um, One Act Play. Okay, ang, ang title ng kanyang play ay Igba. Alright, so there you go. So those are those are some interesting um, uh, masterpieces in our gallery walk. So I hope you learned something about this. Now, how do we consider these um, pieces in Philippine contemporary art as culturally rich? Paano nito ine-enhance yung ating kultura? E samantalang... Ginawa lang naman ito out of aesthetics, for example, ng mga artists, di ba? So, let's study this first one, SM Aura, okay? It's building, like what I said earlier, ay napaka-unique kasi yung shape niya, okay? As you can see in this part, okay, meron siyang curves. Now, why, why are curves important in Philippine culture? Kasi nakikita natin ito kahit pa sa mga sinaunang artwork, art form, and sculptures nung mga nauna pang Pilipino sa atin, yung sabihin na natin, hindi contemporary. It's very much dominant, okay, in all art forms in the Philippines. For example, pag bumisita ka sa isang tourist spot, tapos pumunta ka sa isang souvenir shop, makikita mo to. And as you can see, almost every part of this um, tiny sculpture has curves, okay? Kasi pliant tayo. That's the part of our culture that's represented here. Just like the bamboo, when it bends, gives us um, a good view of a curve, di ba? So, this represents our being pliant, okay? So, there you go. Building siya, pero na-relate natin sa ating kultura. So, you see, this type of architecture really enhances our culture. Next, let's have the painting, Woman in uh, Distress. So, as you can see, ayan yung expression ng kanyang lips. Okay, it's very, what, expressive. Isa sa ating cultural identity. When we are annoyed, when we are angry, and especially when we are happy, makikita yon sa mukha natin. Parang hindi naman tayo uh, naturally poker face or expressionless. We are very expressive in what we feel. So again, this one magnifies the kind of culture that we have in our country. And even the eyes, di ba? Pag talagang stress na stress ka na, napapapikit ka na, ayan. So it's very expressive. It is culturally rich, this painting. And then finally, we have this mini sculpture. And as you can see, um, the lady in this sculpture, nakasot siya ng um, hazmat mask or gas mask. Okay? And then it represents our resilience as a Filipino race. 
okay, as a race and our ability to adapt. So look, uh, look closely, may siyang hawak na Apple. What does it mean? Despite na, halimbawa ngayon, despite the pandemic, we can still see the positive side of it. Kaya nga maraming lumalabas ng bahay kahit pandemic pa, di ba? Kasi we want to, uh, we want, we want to go um, into that positivity that's out there. Usually, it, it is not um, always at home, okay? Minsan, nasanay tayo na naggagala sa labas, di ba? So, this is one one way that we are adapting to this pandemic. And that is very much represented in this sculpture. So, this one is resin made. There you go. So, upon learning about these things, okay, about these different um, contemporary art forms, what are the takeaways that um, that we have? What What is important about these things? So, let us have these ones. That the Philippine contemporary art has different classifications. Now, don't be misled kasi kahit sa classical art, meron na rin ang mga ito. But the idea is, yung mga buhay, mga contemporary artists natin ngayon who are still contributing actively to Philippine art, okay, um, their works can be classified in these categories. So what are these classifications? So first, we have painting. So like what we saw earlier. Siyempre, hindi nawawala yung mga classics, yung spolarium by Eraserhead. Oh, no, I mean, <laughs> by by Luna, di ba? Hindi nawawala yon. I'm sorry, I was referring to a song. Okay? Hindi nawawala yon. Nandyan pa rin. Pero yung mga paintings ngayon, they also magnify the classic ones that we have because they both represented our culture. Then we have architecture, okay? Hindi lang sa mga buildings, even sa mga houses. Kung nanonood kayo, o oh, hindi ito promotion ni Architect Lian, kung nanonood kayo ng mga videos niya, uh, makikita niyo doon kung anong klase ng, uh, anong klase ng evolution ng architecture yung nangyayari in our country today. Okay? From the very simple um, bahay kubo, to the very grand um, Iron Man house, okay, na pinapresent niya doon, makikita natin yung evolution ng kultura natin by uh, looking at this architecture. And then we have the sculptures. Okay, so um, sculpture is um, an art form that makes use of different um, materials. It can be clay, it can be yung nga, resin, although personally, um, parang uh, just a few months ago lang ako nakarinig ng yung actual na sculpture na resin. Usually, maliliit lang kasi yan, di ba? Pero meron ako nakitang parang um, uh, mas malaki na siya ngayon na parang isa na siyang statue. I just don't recall the details. But next time, we'll get back to that, okay? Then we have literature. Hindi nawawala yan, okay? Writing is very important, di ba? Even, even my high school students are into it. Some of them are digitally published na. Okay, so literature is a is a very uh, prominent art form. Okay, na um, it's not what they call it. It's timeless. Now, all the other art forms are timeless, but for me, sorry, kung bias ako because I am into it. But for me, literature is really um, an, an immortalization of being timeless. Then we have music. Oh, we cannot we can never tell the history of music, pero it is a Philippine contemporary art that cannot be really um, thrown away, you know? Talaga nandyan pa rin siya from, from the 1800s up to the present, mula sa mga pasingsong na uh, pasingsong na mga tula na ginagawa noon hanggang sa mga kanta na kinakanta ngayon. Nandyan ang music representing our culture. Then, performing or the performance art. Okay? So this one is usually done on an actual theatrical stage, halimbawa, okay? So it's very important that we're also exposed to this, okay? Although the industry has been in the limelight for some years, it's it's highly important that in sa ating uh, performing, sa ating performance arts. And then finally, we have film. Oh, ayan, i-binge watch na sa, next, sa Netflix ang mga, again, I'm not promoting, ang mga fi Filipino films that show us, okay, the Philippine culture, that enhance the Philippine culture. So there you go. So these seven are the classifications of Philippine contemporary art. Moving on, another takeaway would be, okay, how do these um, Philippine contemporary art, contemporary art classifications okay, magnify Philippine culture? 
okay? And what are their characteristics? So there are two dominant characteristics. Number one, okay, will be that it is process-based. What does it mean? It means, kagahe pa rin una until today, the process starts from the beginning, going to the middle, and finally producing the artwork. But this time, yung mga artists natin, Philippine contemporary artists, they really undergo, uh, kumbaga sa acting, method acting, eh. they really immerse themselves in their art. Okay? Hindi lang kasi pang forma, hindi lang pang front, but it's already their life and blood. So it's process-based. And then another characteristic is that it integrates various art media and forms. Okay? Kaya yung ibang um, exhibition ngayon, ibang art exhibit, they, they have what, we, what they call art installation. Okay? Kasi hindi lang isang medium ng, ng Philippine contemporary art ang ginagamit. Iba't ibang medium. Iba't ibang media. Iba't ibang forma. Okay? So, it integrates various art, media, and forms. And that's very important kasi ibig sabihin, yung ating mga um, artists, Philippine contemporary artists, they understand that, the, that their surrounding is constantly changing and they have to adapt to it. They have to adapt to that. Otherwise, baka lamunin yung art formula. Kaya it's very important that um, a Philippine contemporary artist can integrate various art media and various art forms. And finally, probably the last takeaway for this tutorial lesson is the art elements and principles of Philippine contemporary art, which are enumerated here as pattern, repetition, we have rhythm, balance, contrast, emphasis, movement, and unity or harmony. So these are art elements that you have learned since you were in grade school. But it's very important that we remember them, okay? Kasi hindi lang para sa knowledge, ba knowledge, um, um, knowledge bank natin, but also for us to be able to really appreciate art, kahit yung simpleng ano lang, uh, mural sa kalsada pag nalalakad tayo, yung mga walls na empty, di ba, ginagawan ngayon ng government na malagyan siya ng iba't ibang um, paintings, okay, iba't ibang drawings, okay, and when we're, when you see them, like for example here in our town, dun sa bayan malapit sa simbahan, meron dong iba't ibang uh, murals ng mga uh, nagpapakita ng mga kasiyahan o uh, mga, mga kaganapan na nangyayari dito sa bayan namin, I mean Lucena City and makikita mo dun yung pattern yung repetition, like yung famous letter A for the Agora Market Lag, halos nandun siya sa lahat ng murals na yun. Then there's balance, okay? There's contrast, okay? And th these are very important art elements. Parang, parang without these elements, not parang, without these elements and principles, we can never really produce true art, okay? And then, um, etong mga elements and principles na to, hindi lang applicable sa painting or sculpture, even in literature. Okay, di ba? May pattern tayo, may, may repetition tayo, even in movie. Okay, you will see these art elements and principles. Lalo, lalo na yung sa color. There should be balance in color. Sometimes when you're looking at a painting, ang una natin uh, ina-analyze ay yung paggamit ng artist ng color. And there's also color in words sa literature. And that's very important. So, there you go. So, the, again, these are the Philippine contemporary art elements and principles that we have to take into our hearts. Oh, talagang kasama ang puso. Makapuso naman ako. The other art forms that we have are this one. So the first is film. Okay? So recently I watched this movie, Pero Usog. Okay, why did I choose it for this art form? Kasi we're talking about art enhancing Philippine culture. And in this movie, makikita mo yung ating kultura. Kinalakihan natin na pag nabati ka, nausog ka, di ba? Anuhan ka ng laway. Okay, that's, that's a very classic Philippine myth of Philippine belief that is magnified in this film, Pera Uso. So you see, this art form enhances Philippine culture. The next one is all about music. Okay, so the lyrics and the tunes that you will you'll be able to listen to in Filipino music, okay, contain our identity and culture. Okay, sabi ko kanina, we are very expressive people, di ba? Hindi tayo expressionless. 
kita rin ito sa paggamit ng lyrics ng ating mga composers, ng ating mga Filipino musicians. At bakit? Kasi yun na yung kinilakihan nila. That's their surrounding, that's their culture. Okay? All right. So, there you go. Those are the other art forms that we have. We're moving on now to task number three. So, we call it pen it. So, for this one, I may need you to get a pen, but um, I will not push forth with that kasi baka masyado ng rigorous para sa inyo. But maybe when you watch this video again, you can do this essay. So, you're not required to write a really long essay, just one that really expresses what is asked for. Okay, so for this part, you are required to write an essay about three okay, of your personally chosen Philippine contemporary art forms and explain how they have enhanced our culture. What does it mean? It means na dun sa mga art forms na classification sa pinakita natin kanina, okay, maghahanap kayo ng tatlo yun na, na nagustuhan ninyo or uh, yung, kahit yung ayaw ninyo, halimbawa, pero mas maganda ko yung gusto ninyo para your heart is into it, di ba? So pipili kayo ng tatlo and then explain nyo bakit ba itong tatlong ito ay in, nagpapakita ng enhancement or magnify okay, ang ating culture. Okay, so yung tatlong art forms na yon, the challenge is to choose from different classifications. Bawa isang isang painting, isang sculpture, then isang um, isang literary piece. So ano yung ano yung common sa kanila na nag-enhance ang ating culture? That's the topic of your essay. I also have here the rubric, okay, with five being the um, highest point. You can check it out later when um, you go back to this video. Okay, moving on, it's quiz time. So, I know it's a burden, but it's just a challenge, okay, to see if you can uh, really, oh, what do you call that? If you can really um, remember or recall what we have talked about, ano yung mga pinagdadadaldal ko dito regarding um, Philippine contemporary art forms, okay? Are you ready? So, the first... Um, The first question, or it's not a question, the first instruction is to list down the classification of Philippine contemporary art forms, okay? So, are you ready? I'm going to give you, let's say, one minute to list down whatever you can and just, I don't know, send them to our um, to our chat box so that I'll be able to share the, to, to know and share with you if you got the correct answer. Okay, so shout out muna dito sa ating mga nanonood kay Ma'am Joy Gervasio Salazar. Um, she said, Lo Hati Bautista, okay, one of the um, famous contemporary writers that we have. Good afternoon then kay Ma'am Arlene Ayan Perolina, kay Ma'am Marie Lea Rinen, okay, Ma'am Caroline DV, at um, Cel Adike, or Orlando Adike here, sabi niya. I don't know what that really means, pero thank you very much po for uh, being in this tutorial lesson. And I hope that um, some students or students out there in senior high school are also watching this. This is very, this will be very helpful for them. They want to go back to the lessons, they can. That's why um, this endeavor that um, DepEd and Etulai has taken or have taken is really uh, timely and helpful okay, to our students and more importantly to their parents who are now the new teachers of the students under the new normal. O, oh, di ba? Ang daming new. Okay? Good afternoon din po kay uh, Ma'am or Miss Rome or Sir Rome Alcazar. Yeah, thank you very much. And time is up for our number one um, activity for the quiz time. And the answers are these ones. So we have painting, architecture, sculpture, literature, music, performing, and film. There you go. I hope you got someone, some uh, answers correctly. Okay, madali namang matandaan yan. Pwede mong gawan ng mnemonics if you like. Ayan, ba pwedeng mnemonics dyan? Pass. Um, okay, good luck. Dinay ko pa yung invention ni ano. Do sa isang Disney movie. So anyway, going back. Number two. List down the elements and principles of Philippine contemporary art. Hmm, parang katatapos na nito. Okay, but I challenge you to list down as many as you can, okay, based on your recall. Elements and principles of Philippine contemporary art. Okay, so 
again, you have your time in the world to send in your answers in our um, in our chat box. Otherwise, I'll be posting the answers na very, very soon. Good afternoon po. Sorry, biglaan eh, no? Wala man lang segue. Good afternoon po, Mami Rabona. Yan. My former co-teachers and kay Ma'am um, MC Kausarin, Tutor MC, Tutor Marie. Good afternoon and thank you very much. Okay. So, and now the answers for this one. So, we have pattern. Yan. Repetition. Rhythm, balance, contrast, emphasis, movement, and unity or harmony. So these are the elements and principles of Philippine contemporary art. So this is your number two for our quiz type. So how many did you get correctly? So I hope it's more than what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a perfect score. Char. Joke lang po yon. Kung ano yung makuha ninyo, that's good enough for everybody as long as at the end of the day, you'll be able to describe this Philippine contemporary art pieces and how they enhance, how they reflect, how they magnify Philippine culture. Malay mo, ikaw pala yung minamagnify ng isang painting one day. Makita mo na lang pagpunta mo sa isang museum, di ba? Okay, so there you go. So once again, um, good afternoon to... Um, um, mild bacho. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm um, higher yell, Mendoza. Good afternoon. All right. So, good afternoon po sa inyo. Thank you for watching. And then remember, okay, at the end of the day, at the end of all this, all that art is a blast. Actually, kinuha ko lang yung kay Daydara from the Naruto Shippuden. There you go. Okay, these are the uh, so again, I am your tutor for Philippine Contemporary Arts, Tutor Mary Grace, at your service.